Hi guys! Today we're making this vintage inspired miniature wardrobe. I made mine from wood, but you can use cardboard if you want, but it just won't be as sturdy. The first thing I did was to make a little stencil for the back and the two side pieces, and you can see my measurements here. I'll be using this very lightweight compressed wood that has a white side. It's often used for furniture and this is basically just an old shelf that I kept for making stuff. Carefully trace your stencil onto the wood. Then cut it out with a saw. I'm using this small detail one. Once you get your back piece and the two sides cut out, you can use a file to file off the edges so they're not rough. Then glue the pieces together with wood glue. When the pieces are stuck together, you can now measure out the size you need for a top and a bottom. Sketch them onto the wood like we did before and cut them out. Then glue those in place. After that, I mixed a very thick mixture of plaster and used that to fill it in the cracks so that it would get a nice smooth texture once it was painted later. And this is what we have so far. Next up, you're gonna draw out a stencil for a front piece for the legs. This is also kind of decorative, at least on how I made mine. For the legs and the top decoration pieces, we're gonna use some popsicle sticks. Sketch your stencil on there and then cut it out. There's a few different ways to go about this. For instance, you can use a big pair of scissors to cut out some of the popsicle sticks. However, it's not very good for detail work where I usually switch to a blade of some sort and gently carve it out. However, if you're not comfortable using blades or scissors and stuff, you can actually just file everything you need away with sandpaper and a file. It can be done, it just takes a little longer. This is how mine turned out. I also used my file to round off all the corners to make it look smooth. Now glue it to the bottom front of the wardrobe. While that is drying, you can make similar pieces for the two sides, being sure that they connect while glued together. And that's the legs done. Next up I made this curved piece for the top, just to decorate, and then glued that in place and added two slimmer pieces on the sides. Next up you're gonna need some thin stone sticks, which we're gonna glue to the front side pieces to sit next to the doors. You're also gonna need the hinges you're gonna use, cause you're going to cut away the space the hinge is going to need into the side piece. Then glue the stone sticks to the front. When those two are in place, you can measure out the space you have for your doors and then cut them out. Next you're gonna use some strong glue to stick the hinges to the wardrobe. I also cut away some wood in the doors to make room for the hinges later once we attach the doors. But before we stick the doors on, we're gonna paint the whole wardrobe with acrylic paint. I went for a light dusty blue and some floral detail on the doors. I ended up painting the insides and off white at a later point in the process, but it's way easier to do it now. When I was happy with my flowers, I used some gold alcohol ink to lay some swirls on the doors and some lines on the wardrobe itself.
Next we're going to make the rack to go inside the wardrobe using some wire and pliers. Keep cutting little bits of your wire until it exactly fits inside the wardrobe. Then cut two small pieces of stern stick, glue these inside the wardrobe with the wire on top. Now you can glue the doors to the hinges. Next we're going to make some hangers. I made this little sketch to see what shape I wanted. Then I rolled out some brown polymer clay and used my little stencil to cut out the shape. Then I took a small piece of wire and bent it into a little hook for the top. Push the hook into the clay, then add a bit more clay on top and smooth it out to keep it in place. Also roll out two small balls of clay for the handles of the doors, then bake them completely along with the hangers. Next I made some very simple dresses to go in the wardrobe using some embroidered tulle and ribbon. I glued everything together since this was just to look nice inside the wardrobe, but I have videos on how to make doll clothes on my channel if you want to make something actual working. Once your little dresses are done, put them on the hangers. Now all that's left to do is to glue the handles onto the doors and then you're ready to hang in your clothes. And there you go, that's how to make a vintage inspired doll wardrobe. The dress form and the vintage suitcase is also from previous videos that you can find on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this project, I certainly did, and let me know what you want to see in the future. Bye!